All right. I want to tell all my friends that this is my getting up snow measuring stick. A lot of people think it's a hitting stick, but I don't believe in hitting people or animals with a stick. And so I want to be sure you know that this is my snow measuring getting up stick. And there's a story that goes with it. It's a long story, but I'll try to make it short because I have so many stories I'd like to tell you. I like to step out of the North Pole House where Mrs. Claus and I live. Just the two of us are there with one cat. And uh, I like to step out and go out on the porch, especially when it's not snowing or, uh, which is most of the time, by the way, that it is snowing. But I like to step out there and just take a deep breath and look around and walk over to the edge of the porch. And I was doing this one day and I walked to the edge, of, I thought was the edge of the porch, and all of a sudden I blew right over into the snow. A great big hole, I made the hole when I fell. And I could not get out, the snow was about this deep. And uh, I tried and tried to climb out of that hole and I could not. So. Mrs. Claus finally heard me and came out and she looked down and said, Mr. Claus, what are you doing down there? You're going to catch cold. And I said, I can't get out, Mrs. Claus. Uh, call me a couple of elves to help me. So she called two. I have 29 elves. And two came over and they jumped right down that hole without any hesitation. And they threw snow up and down and over and across and everywhere out of that hole. And they started pushing on me, on my knees and my batuski, and pushing me up and up till I could finally reach the edge of the porch. I got hold of the edge of the porch, barely, and pulled myself up. And the elves said, the ones who helped me out said, Mr. Claus, I, we think you better go in and sit down and have some cookies and hot chocolate because that always seems to make you feel better. I said, good idea, I think I, I'm kind of chilly anyway. So I went in and sat down and had uh, my favorite oatmeal raisin cookies and some hot chocolate. And one of the elves says, now just stay here and enjoy your cookies and hot chocolate, I'll be right back. And so when he came back, he had this stick. I didn't have this stick when I walked out on the porch. And I said, that's very nice, but what's it for? And he said, well, this is for two things. It's a snow measuring stick, and it's got your picture on it. We carved that for you. And it's a getting up stick, because many of your friends are only as big as some of us elves. <laughs> and you have to bend over and stoop down to talk to them. And because your knees are so old now, 700, almost 788 years old, which is how old I am, so everything I have is that old. And you can use it as a getting up stick when you bend over or stoop down to talk to your friends like this. And I have to be very careful because I'm, I'm so old and I, but I can still do it. I talk to my friends like this. And then when it's time to get up, ah, I just pull on my, like that and I'm up. And when I go up walking on the porch, I just stick that stick over on the edge of the porch. I keep doing this instead of walking on it. And when it goes whoosh down in the snow, when I left the North Pole today, it was that deep right there. Right there, that deep. So this is my, my hitting stick, it is not. Snow measuring stick it is, getting up stick. And it also carries my sleigh goggles, which I need to keep the snow and the rain out of my eyes. And this is very important. It's my reindeer calling horn. And when I leave, you might hear me call my reindeer because they're out roaming around in the woods enjoying themselves. And I'll blow this and they will line up right behind Rudolph in front of my sleigh. And when I get there, I'll just walk to them. All I have to do is use my reindeer hooker up hooks, hook up to their collars, climb into my sleigh and say, Rudolph, let's go. And we take off. And that's another story about how we fly, but I, I just can't tell you everything right now. Can we sit down and have a chat? Yes, I'd like to sit down. 
And I love to chat, as you know.